It's for TK. Hmm. And, oh, one for me. What did you get, TK? This is a third generation 400 gigahertz voice and noise modulator. Whoa, what does it do? Uh, it makes my voice sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rob when he does his moose calls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I got something from the Galaxy Beaver Scouts. <gasps> a finder's badge and a note. It says, I've now earned all of my Galaxy Beaver Scout badges. So now I'm an official Space Scout Explorer. Woohoo! Hey, God! Uh, <laughs> but now you'll be in a different group than us. Hmm. Maybe we should earn our finder's badges, too. Yeah! Yes! Then we can graduate and all be Space Scout Explorers together. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Emma, Orbit, and TK want to earn their Galaxy Beaver Scout Finders badge. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The Stinky Cheese Planet? I think we'd know what we'd find there. See you! <laughs> the Clock Planet? Hmm, I don't think we have time for that. The Scout Planet? That's fire! Yeah! Yes, the Scout Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. first. It says here we need to pay attention and stay on the path so we don't get lost. Path? Got it. Anything else? Hmm. No. Just that someone with their finder's badge, that's Rob, needs to carefully hide the farfetchu. Hmm. Oh, please. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, if you say so, start counting to 100 and good luck! One, two, Okay, I've got to hide this someplace good. <laughs> They're really going to have to keep their eyes open if they want to find the barbecue. Oh, oh, that's smart. Huh. 99, 100. 101, 102, 100. Oh, hey. 
place to hide the far for you. Claws or paws. These are robot tracks made by Rob. Oh. But they're headed away from the path. Rob wouldn't go that way unless uh he was lost. Or unless he really wants to give us a challenge. Okay, Rob. We'll play by your rules. Come on, let's find that farfetch'. <laughs> <laughs> to hide the far for you. Uh, huh? Where'd it go? Uh, what did I do with it? Hmm. I, oh, I left it on the bench. Oh, uh, that's okay. No problem. I'll just go back and get it. Oh, uh, whoa, where am I? Oh, no. I'm... I'm lost. Oh, what would a Galaxy Beaver Scout do now? Oh, <gasps> if you are lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Oh, oh, oh. The fire for you. you. We found it. Mm-hmm. But where's Rob? <gasps> oh, no. Maybe he is lost. How do you know? Those leaves look like they just fell. This rock is flipped over, and those plants are newly squished. See the footprint? I bet Rob ran by, flipped the rock over when he jumped to high five the branch, hit the leaves, and they fell. Huh. Wow, that tracker's badge of yours is really paying off, Orbin. Thanks, yeah, <laughs> it's true. I have a pretty sharp eye for Hey! Wait! Oh. 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 Ah, is it a bear? Sounds more like a moose? Hmm. Wait! I know that sound! That's Rob! <sighs> You found me! You found me! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I thought I'd be here forever! Hey, how did you find me? <laughs> I guess you'd say our animal coal badges came in handy. Actually, a lot of our galaxy beaver skills helped us today. Wow, am I glad! <laughs> I'm really sorry I got lost and you had to find me and... I'm also sorry that I, uh, sort of lost the farfetch'. Oh, you mean this little thing? Oh, <gasps> you found it! I don't believe it! Do you know what this means? Huh? huh? You've earned your finder's badges! <gasps> These are for finding the chest. And for <gasps> finding me. Way to go! <laughs> I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the 
scout planet so that Emma, TK, and Orbit could earn their finder's badge. It was my job to hide the Farfetch'u. I was so excited to play the game that I didn't realize I was lost. Orbit, Emma, and TK had to use their Galaxy Beaver Scout skills to find me. While they earned their badges, I learned I should pay more attention to where I'm going. And remember, if you're lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Bye, Scout! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. What's in the bowl? That's my pet fish, Stripey. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it looks so cool. TK, you gotta see this. Ooh. It's Emma's fish, Stripey. Fish. He's so cute. I get it. You named him Stripey because he's got three stripes. One, two, three vertical stripes. Vertical? Vertical means the stripes go up and down. I'd love to float the way he does in the water. I like him. Uh, 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 Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No. He can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stripey. 
I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. fish at all. Yes, Rob, you're back. 
So, what did you learn on your mission? Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live, and the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge, others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripies. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Cleaning up the rocket, but we're almost done. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Ah! Up, go. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! Ah! Fine. Actually, I like this. This is the first break I've had all day. You know what, guys? We've been working really hard. And now look, the rocket's squeaky clean. We're done. Good. Yay! And I have a great idea. We're gonna go on a mission. Wait a minute. Does it involve more cleaning? <laughs> nope. Today our mission is to have fun. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Wow, this must be the biggest slide in the whole galaxy. Let's go. Yeah. Awesome. have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Turn this leader? 
Huh? We didn't give you a turn? Oh. We're so sorry, Orbit. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! Six, five, 
Stop weather planning. Emma, this isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be raining, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Better. Not hot at all. to walk on. Snowflakes are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? 
I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it, too. place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> Not too warm and not too cool. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains, but the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right, back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Oh, I love dancing. Can we go there? Music planet would be a lot of fun, Emma, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there either. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for the countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
mañana. for? Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. And north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump Ship. But which way is north? <gasps> Look! with directions? Hmm. A compass, yes! It has four main directions, just like a map. North, east, south, and west, right? And a compass's needle always points north towards the North Pole, no matter where you go. See? So if north is that way, east has to be this way. East, ear, cave. Looks just like a giant ear. We found ear cave. And look! It's a picture of a skull and key. Just like the one on the map! On the map. On the map. Ooh, that's so cool. cool! It's our voices bouncing off the walls of the cave. It's called an echo. It's called an echo. Hello. Hello! Tell us where we are! Tell us where we are.
within our reach. We're heading west to find White Beach. This is as far west as we can go. But there's nothing here. X marks the spot where the treasure's buried. Treasure? <laughs> finally! After all these years, you've helped me find my precious treasure. I buried it for safekeeping, but lost me map! <laughs> <laughs> made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we found a pirate's treasure map. So we went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his jaw. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. Hi, 
everyone. How can I help you today? We want to have a race so we can decide who will compete in the intergalactic space race. Oh, racing can be fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Clean up planet? I don't think that's a very good place to race. Maybe we'll need to go there and wash up afterwards. <laughs> Paint Planet would be great! It sure would. But it's not really a place to have a race. Hmm. Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. supposed to wait for the start signal. It's okay, Emma. We'll catch them in this. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest. what we need. A coin! This might work. Awesome! Uh, Rob, I think we need a recharge. Don't worry, Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! Straight. Which way do we go? Buckle up again. We've got to make up for lost time. Emma, you can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just. 
Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it! The end of the race! We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on. Here we go! This is great! We'll win for sure! Uh, TK, what's wrong? behind. Way to go, Squeak. You're a great racer. You played by the rules. And you know what happened? You won. We gotta bring our pods back to the starting line. It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. a picture for us, and he's almost finished. What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh, dear. Your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> to pick a planet. Hi, 
everyone. How can I help you today? Orbit was painting a flower for us. Oh, that's very kind of you, Orbit. But his flower is sick, and we need to find a place that will help us make it better. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Toolbox planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Mm. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop flower bed planet. <laughs> hmm, not much of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere. Gardener. Hi, I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Orbit. Nice to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow. So they all vanished. Oh, oh, I can help you fix it. I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Please, but that's not going to help. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. What's he doing? 
doing? Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. There's no need to go frightening everyone like that. Soon this will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. Great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? Uh. Well, as the keeper of Flower Bed Planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it lots of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! That's wonderful! We love it! Great new painting! And you put all the important things in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds, water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished! Give you this. Wow, thanks. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit wanted to paint a picture of a flower but the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers, just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants, so TK helped fix them. He showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, on a 
to dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. There's only one more day till it begins. Ooh, hip hop music. Now that would be a cool dance to learn. Come on, everyone. Give it a try. It's called popping. I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, pirate planet! A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose Music Planet, the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. Ooh. 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 Ooh, the macaroni. I love this one, and it's simple. Come on, everyone, get off your seats and try it with us.
right hand on your bottom, left hand on your bottom. Swing your hips to the left, then to the right. Yay! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Oh, TK, are you all right? That's it. I quit. I'm terrible. I'll never be able to dance. But TK, we can't enter the competition without you. <sighs> TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out. Rock and Robot. Tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack! It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried 
tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it. But I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up. And guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us. The robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. Better buckle up. Five. our very best. Now, where do I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Hmm. Maybe try retracting your antenna a little. Like this. Up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, jigsaw planet! Solving jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. What about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
thing we need to do is find you a robot helmet. Orbit. Orbit. <sighs> Whoa! Crazy gears, Orbit. That's awesome. Way too heavy for Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk... And if she can't walk... Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh. Parts. Oh, wait. Being a robot sure is uh, fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta -da! So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's. Uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes. Or something. Oh. Boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Orbit. It can be very whoa, 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 whoa. dangerous. <laughs> oh no! My nose is itchy. Rob, you're back. So, 
What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us. So we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non roboty friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? <laughs> Orbit, let me try. I want to make things pink. <laughs> Oops. Cool. Black. <laughs> and I'm yellow. Ah, I'm pink. Only your head. <laughs> Don't worry, Orbit. I'll put you back to normal. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. I think it's broken. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix it. Hmm. Don't worry. It's not broken. It just ran out of colors. <laughs> so I'm stuck being pink forever. I'm sorry, everyone. I should have waited my turn. Now you're all funny colors. Don't worry, Emma. We'll be okay. We just need to find another way to put ourselves back to normal. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. that color? Mm-mm. Orbit and Emma were painting with a color popper. Yeah! I look silly! We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty and salads, but We'll go to the Onion Planet when we've got our colors sorted. Now that looks like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the Paint Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for Countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
mixed up. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Look at that. He's getting more paint. Come on, let's see if we can get some paint too. I see how it works. We just need to put the color popper in here. And... Choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> That's better. Here you go, Emma. <laughs> Fixed! Your turn, Rob. <laughs> this is fun. You give it a try, Orbit. Red or yellow or blue. They're purple. But we don't have any purple paint. Just like we don't have any orange. Ah! Hey, look at this. Huh? Uh oh. This plant should be green, not gray. What do we do? We don't have any green paint either. There's no orange, no purple, no green. The only colors we have are blue and... Wait! You can make green by mixing blue and yellow. Robot and get you fixed up. Wait! What's going on here? We need your help. Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh. <laughs> he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh. <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Well? Hmm. No. Too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? 
Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. That's it. I haven't mixed three colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit, TK, and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Bye. coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100-meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Ooh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey! That sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Halo Planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Six, five, 
everybody. What's the most important thing to remember about sports? It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <clears throat> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> Yay, TK! Great jump! Woohoo! Wow! That's amazing! Your turn, Orbit! Come on, you can do it! Sport. There are still lots left to try. Yay. <laughs> High jumping. Bar, please. Ooh. <gasps> Amazing. Whoa. Your turn, Orbit. <sighs> Lower the bar, please. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? <laughs> oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun.
lot harder than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, 